putting <coughs> gonna put the Santa hat on. Try to make sure I can get some uh, some uh, Christmas magic in here. No Christmas already passed. Got my Christmas tree to my right. Previously on The Walking Dead. Uh. Okay, there we go. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Can we at least look for my parents when we get there? They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. If this was me asking you for help, would you be there for me? I need your help, please. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. Clementine. here there doesn't have to be any trouble here all I want is the girl give her back and nobody needs to get hurt Clementine, are, are you all right where are you Vernon you son of a bitch Tony. where have you taken her this is Vernon and you should really watch your tone Clementine's fine but if I were you I'd choose my next word very carefully Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. Is what it is. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll stop them if we have to. We find a way out of here. I'm not gonna shoot my way through.
I'll have these doors open in two seconds. You got any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. I'm awake! Hun, he's awake! We have to deal with this bite, right now. I'm with you, just look at him! We've gotta save him. We need every second we have. Yeah, I know. We've gotta take the arm. Do we know it works? Of course not. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Seriously. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on, let me just... As fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. Try to stay still. Ah! Fuck! Oh God! I know. to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Oh. Yeah. Then let's move as fast as you can. The elevator's open. I'll bring up the rear. Bleed on anyone. I'll be in your rear. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Yes, you think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going.
Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Seems like they followed us here. But that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. What about the train? What about the train? It wasn't exactly whisper quiet. You think it could have brought them all to us? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know, if it didn't work, just take it easy. I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm going to slow down. Yeah, Screw that. I look like I need any preferential treatment. Well, you could have taken my damn leg down there. Wouldn't have slowed me down a bit. You hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We need to get down there man, and find man, a scared man. little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. We have a one-handed character in my mind. I'm saying that Lee could be like... Hospital must have run out of doctors. No help. It's an extension ladder. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Need a hand with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll go. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If something happens to me, you two are all she's got, okay? Be careful. Maybe we should have someone more able-bodied doing that. You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. Fair enough. This man's doing this one-handed. Someone get this man on the board. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there?
Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! Fuck! Be careful! You got this! Got this, motherfucker. Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here! To be honest with you, with me, I probably couldn't cut my arm off. I probably just... Slowly... Oh my god! <laughs> Bang! Well, do you know what it is? What the f They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body? Hopefully, whatever's gonna happen takes longer. Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. I'll do it. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, your cell. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Real quick, though, why didn't you guys decide to, like... Put that... They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! 
Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Go upstairs. Secure whatever you can and make sure we're alone. Done. Omi! What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! <laughs> Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Cam, tap right cam. Bet, bet, bet. Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Shh. Everybody. We have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient and then we get going. <laughs> <laughs> New plan! Get upstairs! Go! Could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. How does it feel to have your girl be taller so, than you? So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. Hey, don't stop. I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. 
Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get her. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I have fever inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. And what do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. 
It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. The pain it is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <laughs> Things are looking up. Climb on through. And me with my with my little stub will waddle. So, so is this what feels like Kirby? Feet in two little nubless. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well, Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Gotta save that for myself. Might be the way out. God? God, is that you? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. I 
I'm a boss. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? You know what? Real quick. I just realized that... I thought that Kenny was gonna fall. But they had that little, that little creek there. Which means that if someone else went after him they would have died, which means that if I would have let Ben stay alive, he would have still died anyway. So I'm not I'm not ashamed of it. That's because there's, there's no they wouldn't let Kenny die, that's because it's good to be moving. Right him. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Kat and I laid in that broke down R V? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, Cross, here. Yeesh. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> this guy without it and what if we don't we need every clue that comes out of it lee's right i am so fucking sorry it's fine we just need to figure out who's going down there no we don't krista jesus fucking christ i got it get me up fuck we can't reach find something fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Here, baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Ken, what are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Kenny! Where are you? Get the fuck off me! No! Oh, <laughs> 
Where'd he go? Maybe, maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Actually, no, Clementine also can. For all the, the Kenny Attack on Titan jokes I made, Kenny, you're a good one. Marshall so you tell were us the best the boy. Are you okay? Actually, no, I have a faith. Kenny's Do probably still alive. Talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. We get to now a moratorium. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? Go on. You're the Go lightest. On. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. This one, all you gotta do is keep looking up. Just keep thinking about Clem. That's all I'm thinking about. Just go nice and slow. There. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus. We'll be there!
you get there only to find someone who says, your clan is in another castle. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I can I can use this. Look how gray he is. My dog is now in here with us. I think we'll be staying. Okay. I got us adjoining rooms. I'm gonna kill you. I have a gun. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Good. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. 
I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my Protected radio, so many people. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in. Our plan changed. Our plan. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. We'll take care of her. We'll give her a home. Why are you saying we? Exactly. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad to. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. 
You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. somewhere safe you don't smell good yeah I know did he hurt you no not really I'm sorry Lee Clem it's okay we need to get you somewhere safe and then we have to talk okay yeah everything's okay now we need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. Out to the hallway. Can I check the peephole first? Savannah. Lincoln's about to cry too, he doesn't want to see this. So. And 
you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. I'll always protect you. Man. Don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two, three. <laughs> See, Clementine, honey, my arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten. No, no, Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. It was hard. 
I don't know how you did, but you did good, okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <clears throat> I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You've got to do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. There's a chair over there. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach out to the lock. gets close. Watch out!
did it. I got him. Come here. Just for a second, sweet pea. You're strong, Clem. You... you can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... it's okay. My parents... it's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, Sweet Pea. And now... you... please... please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. You just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. I don't need it, Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too.
lifts the air is thin. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. Meet me where the snow melt flows. It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again.